Bringing the people behind our food to life. This show brought to you by EcoTrust Food and Farms. Oh, look at all this nice and bunny. The egg co-op started because our CSA didn't have an egg seller for the summer. And we thought we'd try to get some people from the CSA together to grow some eggs ourselves. It turned out we had some access to some chickens from the former egg seller. And uh, Laura, the head of the CSA, said that she had a plan to set up the chickens at Zenger Farm. So we needed to find volunteers, and that's what we did. We posted some emails, and I think our most effective method was to put flyers up at coffee shops, and then we got a lot of response from the CSA itself. My partner Holly and I have had an interest in urban agriculture for several years, and after doing some chicken raising and food growing at home, we understood that it made sense to us to try to expand it to a community level. This is the one that was lame, and she looks awesome. She looks like she's laying again both for the community's sake and for the sense of the agriculture because we enjoy keeping chickens and gardening at home but we felt like it would be a lot more effective and efficient and a better learning environment for everyone to do it on a larger scale. It's sort of like a community garden except for instead of everyone having their own plot we all share a big project and of course it's not a garden it's a bunch of chickens. You commit to one shift a week, and there's 14 shifts because there's seven days, and a morning person and an afternoon person. And um, just because of work, I knew I had to do an evening shift. So for the evening shift, you check on how much food there is and log it in the book. You also fill the water, and you collect all the eggs, and then you just close all the chickens in the coop for the night and close it up tight so that other things can't get in and decide to feast on your chickens. And, um, and then you log how many eggs you've collected. Today was about as high as an egg production day that I have um, had in, since winter, so since the days have really gotten short, which is 12 eggs. I think last week there were 13, which was one better, but um, average has been about nine or 10. So, I mean, it really in the summer, it would be about 36 eggs, and so it's a quite a difference as the days get shorter. Projects like this I think will be really valuable to people as we start to explore bringing some of our food sources back closer to us. One of the benefits that we see for communities is that you'll have a lot of people working on projects like this who then come away with the knowledge and experience necessary to either start their own projects or just simply keep some chickens around the house themselves. Um, we believe that it's really beneficial to a neighborhood and to, to a garden and to a household to have some kind of small livestock. If you're interested in starting a project like this, you should go ahead and do it because as we discovered, there are people interested in supporting it and there's people interested in doing it and there's no shortage of chickens. You get great eggs. And you do, yeah, you get great eggs. Bringing the people behind our food to life.